Okay, Lila, there's a clear plastic bottle filled with water. Now, see that all there? Yep. That's a thing you can poke, make holes with? Mm -hmm. I would like you to poke a hole at the bottom of the bottle right here and tell me where you think the water will go. You'll have to take the height of the water column into consideration. Mm, I think it'll spurt about halfway. About halfway? Yeah. Okay. okay. One small hole in the bottom. There you go. It's not coming out. Barely. Why not? I don't know. Well, now think. In order for water to come out, what has to go in? Air. Air. And there's no air in there. Well, well, see what happened when you touched it? Mm -hmm. Water comes oh. out. But as long as no air can get in on the top, the surface tension of the water spreads it over the hole so water can't get in there. Now, what will happen if you poke a hole up here? Mm, I think it'll just dribble down or not come out at all. Okay, I'll hold my finger over this hole and you poke a hole up there. Watch your, get your hand sort of out of the way in case you miss. Okay. You won't go through your hand. You better let me try it. I don't okay. want you to... Okay, now you can take it out. And I'll cover my finger over the hole. Now when I let go, you, you say what? It's going to dribble out of this hole? Yeah, it's going to dribble out. Okay. Or not come out at all. Wrong again. Now what's happening? The water's coming out of the bottom hole because air is coming in the top right, hole. You can see the little bubbles there. Yeah. yeah. So next time you finish a bottle of the soap comes in this one or any kind of transparent bottle that you can poke a hole in it and that you can mm -hmm. put a cover on it, try asking your friends, see if you can fool them. Okay.